Uh, what's the strategy when setting realistic goals for saving money? What's the strategy? Don't live out your means. Do not. Don't try to live with the Joneses. Stay away from high ticket items. Try to find things on sale. Um, be realistic with yourself. If you say, okay, I don't have no money for savings for retirement, I want to be able to save this much money. Well, first thing I'm going to share with you personally, I'm a faithful tither. I believe in tithing. If I can if I can show God that I can give my first fruits and my first the tithe, he'll bless everything else I have. So that's the first thing I do. I have my my um I have my bills set up on automatic payment and I have my church there with the tithe. Honest. I do that. Out of every paycheck ties and offers. I have to do that because I want God to govern my whole financial worth. If if the increase gonna come to me, make sure God is bringing the increase. And when he brings it I want to make sure that I have a Christian mindset about discipline and first fruits and being able to be a, solid, a good husband and a good nurturer over my funds. God wants people like that to take realistic goals. But if you're not living a, a fruitful life, you're being foolish to say a fool of his money was part soon. And it's not about being rich. It's about being disciplined and saying that this is my budget. This is what I follow every month. These are the things that we have in excess. This is how we live. And it works for us and my family and my household. Sometimes my wife doesn't like it, but she sees the benefits of doing living our lives like this and not having the glitter and glamour and everything. It's good to spoil yourself at times, but do you have to have every gadget? Do you have to have every name brand designer? So this is something to think about. So being realistic that you got to have money for retirement. You got to have a rainy day for it. You got to have your, your ties first. Your ties is first. So realistic goals, God first, savings and retirement. And nest egg, and you want to have an emergency fund at least six months. Those are some basic components that I've learned over my life from sitting down with my accountant and my lawyer, just being able to, sh to share those things with my pastor. Those, those are things that are being able to govern your govern your finances in the right way. That's showing a sign of maturity with your wealth and your money.